So this is a thermodynamics question. It is a year 13 topic, um, building on what you will have done in Hess cycles in year 12. But we're looking at a Born Harbour cycle. So um, only a small question here. You've got two sections to do. Have a go at completing the Bourne Harbour cycle, then the calculation, and then continue through the video to review and see how you've done. So begin. And when you're ready, move on to the calculation. OK, so let's take a look at the answers. Here is the cycle. You are having to very carefully think about which things are exothermic, which things are endothermic to put them in the right places. Now, in terms of knowing what changes are going to happen, and you can see we're going from Mg and O to Mg2 plus and O2 minus, my first two endothermic processes are going to be the first ionization enthalpy of magnesium. I'm including state symbols. It's absolutely vital they are there to get the mark. It's also vital that I include the electron. That electron that I'm showing there is what has been lost from the magnesium to leave it as Mg+. My second step is the Mg2+. It's my second ionization enthalpy. And again, you'll notice my state symbols are there and I've got my two electrons now. Now the exothermic process that we have here is the first electron affinity. Um, we end up going from O to O minus and I've used one of those two electrons so I've got to be really careful of the balancing of it. I'm still including state symbols throughout. You'll notice that the second electron affinity of of, of oxygen and actually of anything is positive and that is because you are gaining an electron, but if it's already a negative ion, you're overcoming the repulsive forces. So more energy has to be put in. Now we're gonna move on to the calculation, but I'm gonna shift this cycle over with me so that we can see where the numbers come from. Now, when I take a look. I want to know what the lattice formation enthalpy for magnesium oxide is. So I've highlighted that as X. And it's then about simply finding the numbers and putting them in the right place. So my enthalpy of formation is negative 602. I put that one in. My enthalpy of atomization for magnesium plus 150. We have to be really careful on the next one. We haven't been given the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen we've been given the bond dissociation enthalpy. So that would be one O2 molecule breaking down to two O's. For that reason, I've got to halve that value. So 496 over two. 736, straightforward again. I've got my first ionization enthalpy. Then my second ionization enthalpy goes in, taking directly from the table provided. My first electron affinity, negative 142, and then for reasons that I've already discussed, second electron affinity, positive, in this case, plus 8.44. My next job is to identify my two roots because we're still following the principles of Hess's law from year 12, which is that whichever route is taken, the overall enthalpy change is the same. I've elected to have a blue root and a green root and they are an identical value. So what I'm now going to do is substitute all of those figures into an expression. I'm going to use the colour coding to show precisely where they have come from. And all I've then got to do is rearrange to make x the subject. And the x comes to negative 3888. Now, bear in mind, if you cut corners on this, it can be easy to get to the right magnitude, but come out as plus 388. It's worth taking the time to work through the full cycle, because that will take you down from a three mark to just one marks on this question.